careful. The protections. They do not differentiate between friend and foe. Anything that smells of anima, clean or tainted, and the fireworks go off. That was the third attack in as many days. The Aten worshippers are getting more aggressive, and our defenses are under strain. We needed the help. Muchas gracias. This is all I have. The entire Council of Venice delegation. One field operative, Amparo Osorio, buenas, and a handful of armed personnel. Hardly enough manpower to deal with a situation like this. Something has gone terribly wrong here. Far beyond the earthquakes, locust swarms, and rain of fire. I believe something has been taken from this place. A dangerous artifact that may be behind the cruel wind that has brought these dark clouds upon us. I'm convinced that the Orochi are involved, somehow. As are the Phoenicians, their loyalties can be bought. But there's someone else, too. Someone with a lot of resources and friends in the highest places. Them? I do not know. But the Council won't listen. No one listens. My reports vanish in red tape, and I don't receive the resources I need. It's as if someone is deliberately trying to slow me down. And so I dig on my own and attract the attention of the cultists. I fear the Council may be compromised from the inside. I don't know who to trust, whether they want me to find the truth, or if they want me to bury it deep below the sand. All I know is that this is too important to bury. Too important to keep secret. Whatever it is that happened, it happened right here, in this town. Normal people were turned into mindless, murderous sheep, bent on darkness, death, and destruction. But like sheep, they only know how to follow. And if you follow the sheep, they might lead you to the shepherd, yes? No, no, Roberto. Está bien. Lo siento. We are being extra cautious. Not only are we under constant attack, there have recently been... attempts on my life. This village is divided, neighbor against neighbor. You have seen how it is. And also, people vanish, taken from their homes in the middle of the night, made into... I don't know what they are. Slaves of Aten? Mindless tools of the sun cult. Oh, hijo de puta. And nobody dares to talk, even when the streets are getting emptier by the day. Soon, the cultists will own this town and everyone in it. Oh, muy mal. So, I receive word from the council, and they finally sent someone. An official. A single agent. A oh, chingada. After what I tell them of this place... But I only have their word for it. That was a week ago, and the agent is nowhere to be found. Perhaps my colleague has been taken as well? I have no way of knowing. I fear I may be next. Quick access inventory updated. They are your servants now, ready to bend to your heavy wind. You are mistaken, my friend. We are all servants of Aten. I am merely his prophet. 
<laughs> Whatever you say, my friend. As long as your slaves provide us with offerings, you will remain a prophet. Or become a god if you wish. Fail us, and that power vanishes. Everything vanishes. The Maria are getting help from the outsiders. That was not part of the deal. You said the deal is simple. Give us what we want. We give you what you want. We are not getting what we want. You will. It is only a matter of time. He will be unleashed. Trust me. Trust. You speak to me of trust. Trust is a sign of weakness. I only trust what I can see before me. I have other business. We will talk soon. You will deliver to me what you have promised. Or all of this will go away. This madness. Praise be upon Aten. Praise be upon his prophet Akhenaten, the Black Pharaoh. Go forth and do his bidding. And may he lay waste to heretics and unbelievers. We need you to transport another shipment. We will pay you well. From one man in a fedora to another. We had a deal for one shipment. We honored our deal, but the time has come for us to part ways. I see. The Maria are merely peasants with Kalashnikovs. And the Council of Venice? An inconvenience. Nothing more. They will all fall in the end. They're not the issue. Not at all. You are. You don't understand the consequences of your actions. You're dangerous, unpredictable. Terrible traits in a business partner. You are right. I am dangerous. If I had a pebble for every thug who tried to shake me down the last 3,000 years, I'd build a great pyramid of my own. Humans fear the end so fiercely they still think death is the ultimate deterrent. Have I got news for you? Who said anything about death? There are far worse things. I know ways to make even a dead man scream. There are forces out there older than the kingdom, older than the sun, with power unwitnessed by the likes of you. Power we just unleashed upon the world. But that was just the beginning. The Maria will feel that power. Venice will feel that power. Those living weapons. And once they are all gone, who knows what we will do? So choose your allegiance wisely, dead man. Well then, 
I thought we might treat ourselves to an ice lolly after the meeting, but clearly our business is concluded. Mortals. Always something to prove. I trust you caught the gist of that conversation. Master, you know how prone these people are to evil. I have fought this war many times. The weapons may change, but the faces do not. Those unfortunate souls, turned by the Arten, look the same as they ever did. Their eyes mad, their skin ashen, their minds clouded. They are in the grip of the dreamers. They are no longer human. The Sun Worshippers want nothing more than the destruction of everything. They want to see the Earth scorched, cities burned to the ground, and their priests transformed into dark angels. If they only knew what they were truly working for, no less than the extinction of all life by forces beyond our reckoning. This time, however, it's different. This time, the plagues were unleashed by outsiders. Oh, the evil was seeded long before anyone from the outside ever set foot in this valley. But it would have found no soil to grow in, were it not for those who came greedily seeking the riches of the Forbidden City. Now the High Priest Abdul Dawood and his disciples who worship the Black Pharaoh and their cruel god Aten are spreading like locusts. That which began with outsiders must also be mended by outsiders. My strength is waning after thousands of years in the deserts of my life. And the Maria, they cannot do this on their own. Yes, I am putting it all on you, child. You and those like you, the ones chosen by the Earth itself, or by the Master. But I am not yet dead, and my vow to the Sixty-Four is long broken, so I will do what I can to aid you in your plight. Among those who came here to dig, there are some that may harm you, and some that may help you. Seek them out, and seek their knowledge. If I knew who to trust, I would not keep it from you.
My friend, it is good to see you. You are late. A thousand apologies. But given the circumstances, I am sure you will forgive me. We are at war. Do not speak to me of war, Fatman. You are still late. So it appears. Uh, what is it we need to discuss? Our friendship. We have done many things for you. We have given you this village. The village is still not ours and... This is your problem, not mine. You have received weapons and support. We have awakened your sleeping god. What have you done for us? What have we? The shipments have stopped. Your army has failed to defeat the enemy. They run free in the streets. We need more hands digging. Why do your people still resist? My people? They are not my people. The Maria are receiving help from the outside, and they are fighting back, both out there and inside the village. We need more support. You demand more favors from us? Uh, my friend, it is not a demand. But as long as the village remains free, we are unable to finish what we began. Like I said, your problem. Our problem. Yes, yes. And we have a plan. The Maria, they do not know about the tunnels beneath the village. We will use them to mount a surprise attack from the inside. Then why are we still having this conversation? Do not waste your time here. Godless heretic.
access inventory updated. Did you suppose he's eternal? What's another ten minutes, hmm? This is why I swore off Aegean girls. Out with it, then. We want you to fulfill the terms of your agreement. You do not get to skip out on a contract signed in blood. For a moment there, I thought a Phoenician arms dealer was trying to lecture me on principles. We had a deal on the table, then you cut another deal with a death cult. We want no part in that. Besides, Venice has called in the bees. The mighty and ancient kingdom, afraid of a, a little sting. I'm not taking on any new enemies at the moment. You are making one right now. You have made a simple arrangement infinitely more complicated. My advice? Get that ass of yours insured. It would be your gift to the world. Oh, please. We're above this. Well, one of us is. Mmm. Gun oil, desperation, and cheap perfume. Tannis, tannis, tannis. So what do you want? Huh? Money? Blood sacrifices? The, the, the spear of destiny? We have the wealth of Carthage. There must be something you want. Goodness, let's not debase ourselves any more than we absolutely must. Not wealth. Honor. Carthage has long sold out of that stock. You've made your sarcophagus. Now go lie in it. I shouldn't think we'll meet again. <sighs> Fucking mummies. I told you, they would all desert you. They lack the conviction and they will burn for it. Come, let us discuss our bright and shining future.
Visual tracking initiated. Behold, all that I do for you, great artists! 